Hi there Leo, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of December. This week begins with a combination between Mercury and Venus and this suggests that if you can bring a social dimension to any changes you may be planning around your lifestyle, fitness choices or anything to do with exercise then it really would be a positive thing to do. And with Mars in your opposite sign, forging an opposition with Jupiter, there's a lot you can gain from this kind of collaboration. You may want to play the lead role, or maybe you're going to be more supportive of someone else. But by really encouraging one another on, it can all become a much more joyful process rather than a heavy, kind of uh, virtuous one only. Now there is also a big influence that hangs over from last week, a quarter moon which occurred in your sister fire sign of Aries. And this suggests that whatever you are trying to achieve this week, don't try to pack too much in. Making the transition from the winter holiday to the end of the year and then into the new year, it's not always an easy time. And if you find that you need to just check out at times, have some rest, catch up on sleep, and let someone else take control and charge of affairs, then do so. It will be really good for you. However, by New Year's Day, the Sun does start to combine with Pluto. Now this points towards some realisations developing as this new year begins of a need to reorganise or reorder your existence in some very fundamental ways. Now part of this could be if you've been living your life in a way which is in balance. This can be in lots of subtle ways which add up to something larger or it could be one glaring thing that you've been overdoing such as perhaps working too hard, not having enough time to recuperate and rest or perhaps it is just down to nourishment, but whatever might be slightly out of balance, the energy of the Sun's combination with Pluto is going to manifest itself for the rest of 2015, and it's a prompt really to take your health seriously, not because anything grievous is about to happen, but simply that if you do, you'll end the year feeling so much better. Now as this week draws to a close on Saturday, Venus moves into your opposite sign, followed by Mercury on Sunday. This is a delicious change for you, suggesting that some very sweet vibes can start to come back to you. And if you're wanting to start off the new year on a better note as far as your love life is concerned, either in an existing relationship or if you're single, this is very, very sweet music. Now, of course, it's not just going to land in your lap. You've got to be proactive. But I think with Mars, Venus and Mercury all in the sign of Aquarius and Jupiter's opposition to Mars as the years turn, there is a real impetus here for you to make things happen for yourself. And they can. And your sparkling charisma can come to the fore. But it is important to be attentive to the needs of others too. Thank you for joining me. Good luck. And goodbye for now.